Questions with Preston. The parable of the laborers and the vineyard. So, the kingdom of heaven is likened unto a landowner that goes out into the marketplace to hire workers for his vineyard. So he goes out and he finds some cats and he goes, yo, I'll give you a penny, you go work. The dudes go, cool. So they go out, right? He's chilling throughout the day and he goes, you know what? About the third and the sixth hour, he goes, you know what, I'm gonna go back out. So he goes back out and he finds some other cats in the marketplace and he goes, yo, head over to the vineyard, whatever is right, I'll give you. Cool, day continues. He goes back out around the 11th hour. Now this is literally one hour before the sun sets. And he says, yo, what are y'all doing in the marketplace, chilling? The dudes go, nobody hired us. He goes, all right, cool, well, I'll hire you. Go ye into the vineyard, and whatever is right, I shall pay thee. So, fast forward, the end of the day comes, and it's nighttime, and he goes to his manager, and he goes, yo, get all the workers, gather them up, pay the last first, and then so on, until you get to the first. So, he gets to the, the, the dudes that got hired at the 11th hour, and he says, here's your penny, and he pays every man a penny. And by the time he gets to the first, the guys that, that were hired first in the beginning of the day, in the heat of the sun, they go, oh cool, we about to be paid. Because obviously, we've been here longer. But, the manager goes, here's your penny that you agreed upon. And the cats are like, wait, hold up. We've been working all day, these cats just got here an hour ago? And, and we get the same pay? And the owner comes out and he's like, yo, uh, what's the problem here? Am, am I evil? That's what you agreed upon, so I paid you that. Wow, first off, what a crazy, beautiful, powerful parable. The first lesson out the gate is like the magical amazingness of the universe. Like how, how much grace that the universe and God shows us that no matter what hour you get there, no matter when you get on the train, you shall receive what is right. No matter what time you get there, like that's pff, mind blown. Second is this whole thing is about consciousness. Right? So consciousness is the sum total of all of our experiences, right? Subjective and objective. And there is a collective consciousness, like collectively we agree that the world is round. Collectively we agree that gravity exists. And then there is individual consciousness. And our job is to clean up our individual consciousness so we raise the bar for humanity, right? So like Mother Teresa says that if everybody cleans up their doorstep, then the whole world will be clean. What she's talking about is consciousness. This parable is about that. And it's also about the law of agreement. Because what you agree upon in mind, you shall experience. So these guys agreed to a penny. But what happened? What was the difference? Right? Because this is also about justice. We say the world is unjust and it's unfair. Right? Yes. In the external, yes. But what was the difference? The difference was that the penny was just and fair when nobody else was around, but when other people came, then it became about comparison, then greed, then envy, then jealousy came in, and therefore, the penny wasn't enough then. You get how so many of us have these beautiful, perfect lives, but when we look outside of ourselves for our experiences, that's when the heaven and the hell comes in. Because we're looking outside of ourselves for validation. Have you ever met a girl who's gorgeous? But at some point in her life, you know, people say, oh, your, your lips are too big, or your, your hair is too nappy, or, or your eyes are big, or whatever the case may be. And her self-view of herself, her agreement that she made with that, determines the type of guy she dates. Because we can never outperform our self-view. Whatever you agree with, you experience. So that girl, can never outperform what she believes about herself, no matter how beautiful we think she is. I'll give you a few examples. There are people right now sitting in prison who will die in prison who are innocent. Innocent. But they don't, the evidence stacked against them. And there are people right now on a boat in San Pei popping bottles with girls all around who are corporate thugs who have been killing people their whole lives. But, and this is the key, the difference is, is consciousness. The difference is, what you agree with, you shall experience. So the consciousness of freedom commands freedom. 
And the consciousness of, of confinement, of condemnation, must create itself. This is also about responsibility. What you agree upon, you shall experience every time. There is nothing outside of you. So how you change your consciousness, how you break down those walls and make new agreements is to question everything that you have placed outside of yourself, to question everything that you have made a God that is outside of you, outside of the divinity that you know in your own heart. Because there's a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff pumping through this world that will tell you this and will tell you that. I know personally. I, had, I was getting my own validation from outside of me based on the car I had, based on the degrees that I got, based on the, my ACT and my SAT and the scores I got on the basketball game. All of that stuff is external stuff. And it taught me to get my validation from something outside of me, which makes me weak. That is not free. So if you want to change your consciousness, you get to break down all those barriers, all those walls, all of the things that you have placed outside of you because you are power, you are magic, manifest in a human body. Christ is depressing. It's going down in a beautiful major way. I love you. Blessings and blessings. Make sure you leave a comment below. Make sure you share this video. Guys, 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 guys. Quick secret. Love is all there is. I'm love. You're love. And we get to team up together. We get to team up together and push messages like this. Oh, so good. So good. <laughs> Hashtag love's voice. I love you guys. Hit me up. We came here for specific reasons. And it's on you to get out of your way, to clear all the muck and the mire to become you.